There was a man a tailor by trade, who had to him a wife, a buxom, brazen bauble, who plagued him to his life by her wanton infidelity, so hid by artifice cruel, yet clattered by tongues throughout the town that called of him blind fool. One dame this dame conceived a plot to slake her lust upon a neighboring body farmer who to gain the poor tailor's trust by posing as a traveling friar. Thus her soul to shrive, please, by deceit, the snake within her lair began to twist and writhe. The farmer did his false skin doff, and humbly to their bower did hunch and thrimble, and prayers mumble, meek as a lily flower, with greetings modest, and looks sly. The wife did bid him enter, and with praises mild, bless the salvation providence sent her. Husband, quoth she, I bid you grant me a quiet peace, for this good friar has come to shrive me, and my sins release, by his blessed prayers, and good counsel of wisdom he sends. Husband be off, then in private my sins may be cleansed. How now, wife, spake the tailor, what the am I to do? For many hours are they yet in the day, and my labors are not yet through. Thy sins will I hear with gentle ears, and mild will be my suspense, for such a chaste and gentle chuck hath no airs of great offense. Replied she, if thou speakest true, and have suspicions not, be off, and return not till thou to me hast brought three items that shall offer me such proof that thou thinkest no ill of what I confess beneath thy roof. The first must be a cuckoo's nest, woven in the night, the second a turtle dove's wing, taken from her flight, the third a stag's spreading crest, tangled in the briar, and I shall await thy return, reciting devotions with the good friar. Thus, with weary sigh, the tailor set to his quest to prove his faith and devotion to his wife at her behest, though she now to her sport did turn, and like a devoted pilgrim rode hard the ass upon her holy drove sojourn. <laughs> Through briar and thorn the tailor hide, until deep within the mire he espied a rough blue cuckoo's nest, with never a twig straight, so soon to his grasp. But the cuckoo cried, Nay, wait, goodly man, learn by this rondled maze. So thus is the home cross woven with treacherous ways, and though soft words beguile you from the sorry weaving, be not a cuckold webbed in the weaver's deceiving. Journeying yet deeper into the wood, the tailor heard the trill of the modest cloistered turtle dove, and with his skill cast his clutching net, and captive to him did bring his dainty fluttering prize, who in her distress did sing, Sir, stay your hand, and to my flight pay heed, for the hurt of heart of a turtle dove is ever two as one, and will bleed if rendered from the faithful comrade. Though to none you now I pity lend for the bleeding of your own torn marriage vow that infidelity did rend. With lowering brow and blackened thought, thus to begin afresh upon his trail, he heard a hunting horn wind, and saw the desperate thrashing form of a snag within the brush, his crest tangled within a maze of thorns, ensnared by his furious rush. Ho then, goodman! Be ye to rob me of my pride, that I a shorn doe may appear to the hunter who cometh my flesh and hide? Beware then as you leave me to my lowly defeat, for tis known that the cr noble crest you carry to your faithful, faithful wife is not to the horn to bear as your own. <laughs> like an untended flame left smoldering to die in the hearth log, a gnawing light of wisdom <coughs> came crawling as through the fog of the tailor's deluding veil, which did his vision distort. And in his mounting rage, he hies home to disrupt his wife's lusty sport. Merrily in his absence has the debauchery been played, and the body mistress awakes up frightened and dismayed to see her devoted friar crying, Mercy! And forth and alack! Begging forgiveness for the roistering communion she has received upon her back. <laughs> for the maddened tailor has caught the neighbor by the scruff of his blaspheming cowled neck, and with shakes hard and rough, <coughs> smites him about the ears, and clashing his shears, does vow, I'll make of you a hen, my fine cock, to hear how shrill you'll crow. As for you, you slattern draft, stop now your bawling din, I've been a blind and doddering fool your faith to win, for on your deceitful quest I found in shameful truth, I shall now always stay to hear the confessions beneath my roof. <laughs>